We're here at Mobile World Congress and autonomous vehicles are a big subject matter. But cellular vehicle to X is one of the enabling technologies. So I'm here on the Qualcomm stand and I'm joined by Shalesh Patil, uh, who's a specialist in this area. So tell me what the advantages of the 5G new radio is versus cellular vehicle to X on LTE. Yeah, so thanks. Uh, good question. So um, 4G V2X was defined for basic safety. And you know, it's sort of, uh, we have these trial results which show that it performs really well. It, you know, and gives a great performance. So the idea was that we want to expand what 4G V2X can do with, with the, the services that V2X can provide. And that's where 5G and V2X comes in. It's going to enhance the basket of services provided by V2X. Okay. And it's going to do that by multiple enhancements, basically like higher data rate, um, low latency, and higher reliability. Okay. And that will enable newer applications like sensor sharing and coordinated driving. So sensor sharing means that you know cars will have sensors a lot like cameras and so on. And I'm you know you're more aware about what surroundings are. And also if you're an autonomous car, then you actually get a benefit from like your travel time reduces from point A to point B. Okay. And you also save fuel while or energy. Um, this is you know as we said CB2X sort of provides you increased safety, social awareness, shorter travel time, energy savings. We are going to compare like on the left-hand side, we have vehicles which don't have CV2X. Right. And on the right-hand side, we have vehicles which have CV2X. On the top, we are like manual vehicles. And the right, you know, bottom, we have autonomous vehicles. And we're going to compare the autonomous vehicles, basically, as an example. So one of the questions that people ask about CV2X is, oh, do I need like every car to have CV2X to right. sort of get the gains? And this is sort of saying, OK, what happens if you have these mixed deployments? Okay. So we can choose, like, for example, we've mentioned 25%. So what you'll see is that on the, there are two cars. Yeah. They will do the. They are under the same traffic conditions. One car is autonomous car with no CB2X, whereas this is again an autonomous car with all the sensors, but also the connectivity. And that you can way. share the sensor data. As well. You can share the sensor data, and that's the key. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And um, so this is like the driver's view. We also have the what is known as GPS view, where you can see where your car is and all where other cars are basically. Okay. And you know we also have like how many sense devices that we're detecting. Uh, how much of the trip is complete and uh, energy consumption basically. So let me just start and I, I we can do a little bit speed up a little bit. So the cars are off as you can see. And what you'll see is that you know the car is approaching another red car right. whose door is about to open. With CB2X you know that even before the door opens basically. Right, but it doesn't see it on this one. You don't see it on the other side. So this is the increased safety aspect. Now both the cars are going and they're basically at the same level at the trip right now basically and you know you don't see any advantage for car with CB2X, but that will change once you reach the intersection, basically. Okay. So as you can see on this side, because the car only has like line of sight right. sensors, it, can't it, see around it cannot see around corners. So I can just do this, you know, I just know about two cars. Right. Whereas on this side, because there's a car which has CB2X, the glow re reflects the CB2X. It's detecting all this information so and it can send me or tell me about that, basically. And also I can coordinate with this car to sort of, you know, basically negotiate the intersection without stopping. So as you can see, this car goes ahead, does not need to stop, whereas this car stops. And that's where you start to see the difference between the two cars. This car is faster versus the other car. So this is another example of increased safety. What you see is the car in the front, its brake light is out. And we don't know if it brakes, I don't know what's going to happen, right? But now, with CB2X, I get this warning, basically. Again, you reach an intersection, and the idea is that you basically don't need to stop, okay? And now we're reaching the final intersection. So this is a little bit different use case where what you see is that there's a camera which is coming here and it's telling me that there's an obstruction on the other side. So I'm going to stop and then try to turn, basically. I'm going to see that. And I know there's an obstruction, so I'm not surprised, basically. So let me just speed up. This car is done. This car is still work, working through it, you know. And that's the summary, basically.